Nowhere else on Earth builds quite like New York City, and in 2025, the scale of its ambition has never been more audacious. Across the skyline and deep below the bustling streets, billions of dollars are being invested in projects that are not only reshaping the Empire State, but pushing the limits of modern engineering. From towering skyscrapers to transformative tunnels, here's an in-depth look at the mega projects currently under construction across New York City and why the Big Apple is building like never before. Number 9. 270 Park Avenue – A Skyscraper Reinvented The transformation of 270 Park Avenue in Midtown Manhattan is a feat of architectural and engineering ambition. Formerly home to the Union Carbide Building, constructed in 1961, this structure became the tallest ever intentionally demolished building at over 700 feet when dismantling began in 2019. Rather than a dramatic implosion, the demolition process was methodical. Floor-by-floor -floor deconstruction ensured safety due to its proximity to Grand Central Terminal and other skyscrapers. This involved asbestos removal, internal gutting, scaffolding installation, dust suppression, and vibration monitoring. In place of the old tower, J.P. Morgan Chase is constructing a super-tall headquarters, expected to rise over 1,000 200 feet. The building features deep foundation caissons bored into Manhattan schist, a concrete mat slab base, and a hybrid steel concrete core for improved stability. The curtain wall, made from prefabricated glass and aluminum panels, improves energy efficiency and speeds up installation. Advanced logistics like just-in-time material deliveries, tower cranes for vertical transport, and robust safety enforcement keep the massive project running smoothly, all contributing to what will soon be one of the city's most innovative office towers. Number 8. Gateway Program – Hudson River Tunnel Revival The Hudson River Tunnel Project, part of the larger Gateway Program, is arguably the most critical infrastructure initiative underway in the northeastern U.S. The project aims to build new twin-rail tunnels beneath the Hudson River to supplement and eventually replace the aging North River tunnels, which date back more than 100 years. These original tunnels, essential to Amtrak and New Jersey Transit, and used by over 200,000 daily commuters, have been heavily degraded by time and storm damage, especially after Hurricane Sandy. Construction of the new tunnels involves 2.5 miles of twin bore tubes excavated by advanced tunnel boring machines. These machines are specially designed for the complex geological conditions beneath the river, such as silt and clay. Precast concrete segments with watertight seals form the lining, while ground stabilization methods like jet grouting and freezing protect sensitive areas. Once completed, the new tunnels will not only allow rehabilitation of the old tunnels without service disruption, but also increase reliability and future capacity for high-speed rail along the entire Northeast Corridor. Number 7. Port Authority Bus Terminal The Port Authority Bus Terminal, the busiest bus terminal in the Western Hemisphere, is undergoing a complete overhaul. Originally opened in 1950 and expanded in the 1980s, the terminal now struggles with over 200,000 daily passengers and more than 7,000 bus movements. The redevelopment plan involves constructing a state-of-the-art terminal while keeping operations running. Temporary modular bus platforms are being built nearby to allow phased demolition of the old facility. Vibration and noise-reducing systems help protect neighboring properties during construction. The new terminal's foundation uses deep piles and includes multiple basement levels for bus staging, mechanical systems, and services. Advanced mechanical systems energy-efficient lighting, storm water reuse systems, and redesigned access ramps will make the terminal a 21st century transport hub integrated with subway lines and neighborhood pedestrian pathways. Number 6. Fifth Avenue Redesign A bold reimagining of Fifth Avenue between Bryant Park and Central Park is turning one of New York's most iconic boulevards into a pedestrian-friendly multimodal corridor. While it may appear to be a streetscape project, this redesign delves deep into civil engineering. Construction starts with detailed surveys and geotechnical studies, 
depending on subsurface conditions, full depth roadway reconstruction or overlay is performed, upgraded drainage, utility relocations, and reinforced electrical and telecom conduits are essential steps in preparing the foundation. The plan includes wider sidewalks, new bus and bike lanes, ADA-compliant raised platforms at bus stops, and thermoplastic road markings with smart traffic control systems, new granite curbs, stormwater bioretention, tree pits with structural soil cells, and high-efficiency LED lighting further enhance sustainability and urban resilience. Fifth Avenue's redesign is setting a new benchmark for pedestrian-first infrastructure in dense urban cores. Number five, New York City Football Club Stadium at Willets Point in Queens, the long-awaited home for the New York City Football Club is rising, set adjacent to the Willets Point redevelopment zone. This stadium is being built on challenging terrain, formerly an industrial zone with contaminated soils and inadequate infrastructure. Initial efforts focused on environmental cleanup and site stabilization using ground improvement techniques. Deep concrete piles support a reinforced slab foundation, while the watering wells and drainage tanks mitigate high water table risks. The stadium's design features cast-in-place concrete for the lower bowl and prefabricated steel and concrete sections for upper levels, a lightweight canopy made from cantilevered trusses and tensioned membranes enhances both shade and acoustics. Integrated technology systems, LED cladding, and wide ADA-accessible concourses are being constructed with fan experience and safety in mind. This project is not just about sports. It's a complete transformation of a neglected urban zone into a cultural and economic centerpiece. Number 4. 525 Fifth Avenue The vertical construction at 500 and 25 Fifth Avenue is a masterclass in building tall within tight spaces. Located in Midtown, this project involves replacing low-rise structures with a slender 800-foot mixed-use tower. Excavation required the use of slurry walls with rock anchors tied into the bedrock to resist pressure. A reinforced concrete mat supports a steel-framed superstructure with concrete-encased cores for wind resistance. Slip-formed concrete techniques accelerate core construction while composite floors of metal decking and poured slabs optimize workspace. The curtain wall, combining aluminum, glass, and decorative panels, creates a sleek facade. BIM modeling ensures seamless coordination of mechanical systems, while luxury amenities and retail spaces occupy the lower floors. Despite the constrained site, the tower showcases cutting-edge urban high-rise construction. Number 3. Essex Crossing Essex Crossing is transforming several blocks of Manhattan's Lower East Side into a vibrant, mixed-use neighborhood. Built on land left vacant for decades, the project spans over 2 million square feet and includes housing, retail, community facilities, and green infrastructure. Each building's design responds to unique subsurface and structural needs. Pile foundations are used across sites with varying soil conditions and excavation is reinforced to protect neighboring structures. Building systems vary from concrete flat slabs for residential use to steel frames for larger retail venues. Storm water infrastructure, centralized utility corridors, solar roofs, and public plazas make Essex Crossing a model of community-centered development. Number two, Cornell Tech Campus. Cornell Tech's expansion on Roosevelt Island is redefining urban campus development. Built on a former hospital site, the campus is engineered for climate resilience and energy efficiency. Flood-proof construction techniques, raised site elevations, and reinforced drainage mitigate the risk of storm surge. The Bloomberg Center, the academic heart of the campus, is a net-zero energy building powered by geothermal systems and solar arrays. The Tata Innovation Center, and modular residential building the house are engineered for flexibility and minimal energy consumption, with prefabricated construction reducing labor and waste. The entire utility infrastructure, including a central plant, was designed with BIM for smart integration. This project proves that sustainability and innovation can thrive even on a flood-prone island in one of the world's densest cities. 
Number 1. Manhattan West Building above live rail lines, Manhattan West, located just west of Penn Station, is a monumental example of building atop active infrastructure. Developed over Amtrak and NJ Transit tracks, the project's foundation includes over 300 drilled caissons supporting a platform above the rails. Work was executed during night shifts and weekends to avoid disrupting train schedules. Massive steel girders form the base for a collection of office, residential, and hotel towers. One Manhattan West, the tallest tower, uses a composite steel frame and concrete core to handle high wind loads. Vibration isolated decks, retail promades, and public spaces crown this mega project, making it a model for urban development above transit zones. And there you have it, New York City in 2025, building bigger, faster, and bolder than ever before. If you found this journey through NYC's construction marvels as fascinating as we did, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. Got a favorite project? Drop it in the comments below. We'd love to hear what impresses you most. Until next time, stay curious and keep building dreams into reality.